So Dr. Ham, tell us how you ended up getting here to Hardin-Simmons. Well, um, I was at a local university and I had done a presentation and Harden Simmons faculty member was in the audience and came up afterwards, introduced himself. We started talking and he said, would you ever consider coming to Harden Simmons? Mm -hmm. And I think that kind of started kind of God's work. And over about a six to nine month period, we just had conversations and um, one thing led to another. And then uh, I was a director for the online education position came open and I was asked to apply and did and here I am. What do you like about online education? It's, I mean, it's, it at one time was the brand new thing, but it's become the stable now. Yes, uh, interestingly enough, when I was in the Metroplex in ministry, I also taught at Dallas Christian College. Mm. They asked me if I wanted to teach online. I said, absolutely not. Mm. <laughs> and, it, you know, but God had other plans. What I like about online education is, my original goal in ministry was to go back up north and take the gospel back up north. Mm. I never ended up going back up north because my wife is here. But through online education, it allows me to access people who can't access education traditionally and has given me a way to take the gospel into the world, mm. but still be in Texas. Wow. Um, what is it that you like about education and teaching? Why, why is teaching such a, a great space for you? It's, it's energizing. And I feel like it's holy ground. And what I really like is when a student invites me into their learning. Because mm -hmm. uh, I don't take that for granted. And what I like is when a student invites me into the learning and then it's almost like the course becomes the reason we are engaged, not the only reason. Um, and when they allow me to be part of their spiritual formation, their career formation, um, their social formation, it's just energizing. Mm -hmm. And I don't take it for granted. Ever have a favorite car that you drove? Yes. Well, it's not that. my car that I drive, but uh, it was a Corvette. And this was way back um, when I was a teenager and my uncle had a Corvette and he let me have it for a protracted period of time. But I, so I liked it, but I don't know if I liked driving the Corvette or if I liked the fact that my uncle, who I really look up to, looked up to, gave me the, his Corvette to drive. So that was pretty cool. You did a lot of powerlifting. Um, any, did you set any personal records that you're proud of? I have some records that I'd, I'd be afraid to say what they were because people now would say that was a record back then. <laughs> <laughs> but I had one or two at uh, ACU. Really? And uh, yeah, and so did my wife. My wife had a powerlifting record at ACU as well. Wow. Be careful. I know, yes. Yeah, so like, don't take her for granted. Th that's a way to uh, start a, a marriage off on an equal foot, is to know <laughs> some of that information. That's good. Well, thanks for coming in. Absolutely.